Jeff DMC. Clever. Jay Moses. Yeah. And we are a media collective. Um, our camp also has a whole bunch of producers and videographers, graphic designers, photographers. Everything. Uh, we plan events, we book shows, uh, we, we do artist development. Um, we bring an originality back. We got it all. Yeah. All of it. And, and um, you ain't never seen that like this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. The fact that we have a great mentality in everything that we do, um, in everything that we plan for and strive for. So we really hold each other accountable for um, the music that we that we make and what we produce. I think it's it's all organic. Um, everything is natural. Like we're not doing music to like impress nobody. We're doing music that really represents who we are as individuals and who we are. You know what I'm saying? As a collective. Um, well, and on top of that, I don't think there's ever been like a very popular four-person group, you know what I'm saying, like that that was like, that was like co-ed, you know what I'm saying? Um, like you had the firm and that was three people, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was, you had the foodies, that was three people. Like it, it, it's never really been the type of formula that, that we're using right now. Yeah, and that's very from the middle of the map, you know what I'm saying? gives us the, the ability to absorb from all sides of music, you know what I'm saying, to create you know, a super rap. being, you know what I'm saying, like a super, like a rap superhuman, you know what I'm saying, something, something along the lines of that, a rap superhuman. Uh, based on energy, yo. Like, it don't even, the crowd don't even need to fuck with you all the way. It's just like, if there's a certain amount of energy, you know what I'm saying, being given and taken from the crowd, yo, like, <clears throat> you never know what is gonna happen. Like, it could be the most intimate shows, y'all, like, in the smallest venues, you know what I'm saying, like, where the crowd is really tight together, it's, you know what I'm saying, where there's no room to stand, but not because it's packed in there. And not because it's like a thousand people, it's just because it's really small and everybody's in there on some hip-hop shit. Like those, those are the best shows for me personally. Um, yeah, I like up close, intimate crowds. Um, and I like performing both in front of people who do know who I am and people who don't know who I am. Or in front of different people who you wouldn't really expect to um, really vibe to your music like that. So that's what an um, awesome performance is to me when I have a new, a new audience and everybody rocking with me. Off my energy alone. Uh, uh, on top of that, I was just gonna say, uh, basically putting yourself into it first, first off. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. going out there and, and, you know what I'm saying, just trying to do the show. Just to pass by time, you know what I'm saying? Come out there and give me your all, even though it might not be motherfuckers out there. Yeah, definitely a, a personal mental thing. You gotta get past, you know what I'm saying, before a good show, you have to tell yourself that it's gonna be a good show, regardless of your audience or whatever went on before you got on, you just got on the stage, like you have to like mentally prepare yourself for a good show. You have to go in saying it's gonna be a good one, and it, you know what I'm saying, and it will be based on how, how you perform. Okay, I think, um... In a sense, every show at the end of the day is a good show. Um, just based on the fact that like a lot of us, like just rappers, MCs, entertainers in general, you know, like use performing as like a form of like relief. You know what I'm saying? Like as a as a release, it's 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 like one of the best ways to get shit off your chest. You know what I'm saying? Like I know the person that I am on stage isn't the same person that I am off the stage. Just based on you know what I'm saying, I get to say shit. Um, to you that I wouldn't say shit to you in person, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's it's where like that spotlight is put on whatever your thought is at that moment, you know what I'm saying? And you can control yeah. everything, you know, like, so whether the show is bad or whether the show is good, you know, like, at the end of the day, like, you have power 
for, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes at a time, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. As a group, we've been performing for about a year. I think it's been like a year and a half. Year. About a year and a half. <clears throat> but we all, you know, came together individually. We had already been performing for, been performing for years. And I've been performing on campus and stuff, but like as a group. <clears throat> what about you? Yeah, that's when I really started in practice. <laughs> like I was acting about it. <laughs> wow, I was out the gate. Now, now I'm out the gate. <laughs> Just trying to get out and see the country, you know what I'm saying? Let the country see us, hear us. Yeah. Um, just gain some new fans in some new places. Yeah. Um, and actually introduce the world to the great thinkers. You know, you know what I'm saying? Not just as performance, but like as the collective. As the collective, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll actually get to hear us together, you know what I'm saying, in 2014. So that I think that's something definitely to look forward to. The music. Definitely new music for each artist, and hopefully something, a lot of co collaborative tracks from each of us. Yeah. New projects, new money, <laughs> new money, new dollars, new, new dollars, new food, new packs, <laughs> new packs, <laughs> packs. You know, just new. That's what we're doing this year, new. Yeah, new trying to be the, the refresh mm -hmm. button on the hip hop page. And really thinking ahead for people when it comes to like video ideas and, and concepts, yeah. you know. Um, even how we go about organizing our shows and how we utilize social media and stuff like that. Just really trying to do it differently and more creatively than, than we've done before. Thus far, like in, in Champaign, our band, I think we've been like some of the most innovative in the last year, year and a half, um, just because, um, Champagne, we, I've never seen nothing like this before. Not only that, I mean, like, it's just, it's just, like you said, we on that, we on that refresh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we on the, on the forefront, there's a handful of people you can actually talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we are actually one of the, one of those groups of people, yo, that, like, don't just sit around and, and, and just talk about doing shit. We actually make sure we, we get shit done, like we, we take time to figure out the steps, you know what I'm saying, to, to taking the steps. Basically making the, the dream process plan, like a sequence of plans throughout the timeline, instead of just wishful thinking, we acting on the shit. Making it possible for it to be possible. Dreams only feel as bright as this damn life. <laughs> when you're out there doing that groundwork, and when you realize that you're great, I mean, it just gives you a different sense of control over your future and over what you do create. So, it's really no excuse. Yeah, you're blessed with the talent. Everything else just has to come after that. You know, you don't really worry about how am I gonna write this song or, or how am I gonna do this project. You know, that's, that's secondary. It's, you know, Everything else comes after that. Leg work. Money time. Money team. The new